Welcome to another Godly Guide. In this episode, we compose a symphony of destruction with the military mastermind, Guan Yu. After pledging fraternal brotherhood to his general, Liu Bei, Guan Yu was captured by a rival warlord. Instead of executing Guan Yu, the warlord recognized his prowess in battle and appointed him a lieutenant. Guan Yu served a long and illustrious military career under the command of his new captors, however, after a major victory, he fled and was reunited with his blood brother, Liu Bei. The warlord's troops, outraged by the betrayal, captured Guan Yu and executed him after he refused to surrender. Legend has it that when the warlord gazed upon Guan Yu's severed head, the head stared back at him and demanded a proper burial. Guan Yu is a short-range magical nuker, who excels at chasing and can support teammates with frequent heals. Guan Yu's passive is fortified defense. Guan Yu gains 20 magical and physical protection near friendly or enemy structures. Guan Yu's primary ability is Tao Lu Assault. Guan Yu spins his spear, damaging all enemies directly in front of him for 600 magical damage in addition to 200% of your magical power over a period of 4 seconds. While channeling, Guan Yu is immune to knockback and is free to move at his normal run speed. As if that wasn't enough, each hit steals 10 magical and physical protection from the enemy and gives it to Guan Yu. This effect stacks up to 3 times and is refreshed with every hit. Guan Yu's secondary ability is Warrior's Will. Guan Yu dashes towards his enemies slowing them and inflicting 330 magical damage as well as 60% of your magical power. Hitting an enemy god lowers all cooldowns by 2 seconds. If used in conjunction with Tao Lu Assault, Warrior's Will gives Guan Yu remarkable mobility and exceptional chasing prowess. Guan Yu's final normal ability is Tranquil Gift, an AoE heal that restores 190 health including an additional 50% of your magical power. Healing friendly gods further reduces all cooldowns by 2 seconds. This incentivizes players to cast Tranquil Gift during team fights to help bring Guan Yu's offensive abilities off of cooldown. Guan Yu's ultimate is Tactician's Advantage. Guan Yu launches three aerial attacks that deal 200 magical damage as well as 20% of your magical power. Enemies hit with one attack are slowed by 25%. Enemies hit with two attacks are silenced and take an additional 50% damage. Enemies hit with all three attacks take 100% more damage and are stunned for two seconds. It is also worth noting that Guan Yu is able to move while casting Tactician's Advantage and is immune to all crowd control effects. Guan Yu could be built as a tank, however, in order to take full advantage of his mobility and healing, he will need to stack magical power. With that in mind, I've purchased Boots of the Magi and three mana potions. If your team has a jungler, it may be necessary to pick up meditation. If not, it's a good idea to get blue buff as soon as you can. An enemy held the sights to gank me, but I land three hits with my ultimate, stunning her into a warrior's will and a Tao Lu assault for the kill, but she heals. Luckily, she runs into an Artemis trap and I'm able to finish her off with an auto attack. As I approach 2000 gold, my first priority is to purchase a Doom Orb and head off looking for kills. Here I help a friendly in what appears to be a 2v2. Ulting in on Wukong, I land the stun into a Warrior's Will Tao Lu Assault combo for the kill. At this point, it's clear it isn't a 2v2 as Ymir lands the slow coming in from the jungle. I attempt to run, but Akuna Matata, I'm stunned by a boar. Artemis comes in, doing quite a bit of damage, Ymir follows suit. Luckily, I'm able to dash away using Tranquil Gift to heal up. Wukong throws down his ult, it's ambitious, and I like it. I go in using Tao Lu Assault to pick up the kill on Artemis. I then turn my attention to Ra, using Warrior's Will to dash in, doing a bit of damage, landing some auto attacks, doing even more damage. Luckily, Tao Lu Assault comes up just in time for me to pick up the triple kill. The only thing left to do is focus Ymir and pick up the unofficial pentakill, but unfortunately, as we all know, no one really cares about unofficial pentakills, so here we go again. Dashing in from the jungle, I pop my ultimate on the enemy Guan Yu, attempting to neutralize him, and I do just that with a Tao Lu Assault. Turning towards Ra, I use Warrior's Will to slow him, followed by a Polynomicon auto attack to bring him very low. He retreats into the jungle, but a Warrior's Will gives me the double kill there. Wukong decides to ult, and I decide to use Tao Lu Assault to pick up the triple kill on Hebo. Turning towards Wukong, I slow him, but he jumps away. Luckily, a Warrior's Will comes up just in time for me to pick up the quadra kill. Here are my skill and item build orders, and as always, you can find these in the description. Before I go, here are three tips on playing an effectively brutal Guan Yu. Number one, work Polynomicon into your rotation. Since Tao Lu Assault is on a rather lengthy cooldown, you'll need to supplement the damage by purchasing a Polynomicon. It can be easy to spam your moves when you play Guan Yu and forget about auto-attacking, so a little effort goes a long way towards forming a habit. Number two, get Red Buff and Fire Giant. This might be one of those tips that applies to any god, however, it's especially prevalent when playing Guan Yu. He hits hard enough on his own, but in order to really dominate, he will need the damage buff from red. 
And finally, number three, heal your allies. If you heal your friends, you will be cooldown efficient, but you'll also just be cool. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe and comment for your chance to win one of a dozen beta keys being given away this week.